National Football League's McCaskey family-owned Chicago Bears business is still Chicago-based for now. But there is a possibility that the McCaskey family might build a stadium on a parcel of land the family now owns in the northern Chicago suburb of Arlington Heights, which at one time housed the Arlington International Racecourse. There certainly is enough room on the property to build a stadium village with Bears football games as the centerpiece of the possible development. National Football League Commissioner Roger Goodell is on board with the McCaskey family thinking about building a football facility with perhaps a sports book and all the revenue producing gadgets that are available. Goodell said, those are things the Bears have to explore. The stadium's a big part of that. Then Goodell explained how various franchises don't play in the cities that are part of their brand name, like the New York Giants, New York Jets, Dallas Cowboys, San Francisco 49ers, Los Angeles Chargers, Los Angeles Rams, and Buffalo Bills, and added some more commissioner speak. They're not the first team to look at areas outside the city they play in. That's something that's a natural thing for our clubs to do. They obviously recognize the least restrictions they're under. So I think investigating and exploring, that is something they owe to the fans and their community. What exactly does the McCaskey family owe to fans and the community? That's unclear, but what is clear is this. Chicago Bears fans will be paying a lot more for tickets to see their team in the new facility and paying a lot more for food, beer, and parking. That's the way it goes with new venues. The community, the McCaskey family, will be asking for tax breaks and tax incentives. It's all about money. I'm Evan Wiener.